When I say major, there is a major door that is about to open for you in the marketplace. And I'm telling you right now, there is a promotion that has been waiting. You don't even know you've been looked at. There is a major door that's literally about to open for you. Even while entrepreneurship is on your hands, there is a major door that is above you that feels like it's been hard to get to. And God says he's literally shattering a glass ceiling that has been over your head that's been keeping you out of a certain tax bracket that you know God has called you to. There are so many things you want to do for your church, for your family, for your children that you feel like you've been hindered in. And the only problem you really have is money. If it wasn't for money, you feel like everything would happen. If you had the money to do it, if, if I had this money, we wouldn't be able to, we would just get it. Money is the only thing. And I'm here to let you know that if dollars and cents is your only problem, you don't have a problem. Y'all don't like that kind of talking right there. It's even hard for you to believe it because money has been such a thing. But I'm telling you that if money is your only problem, you don't have a problem at all. Money answers. It has ears. I'm telling you, I call money to me all the time. Some of y'all think it's crazy. It's a law. You call what you need to you. If you stop chasing the dollar, the dollar start chasing you. And it just finds you, is that right? Yeah. Literally, there is another bracket. I see literally like another door over your head. But there has been like a glass ceiling that's been over it. That's literally been keeping you from it. But I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying, I'm breaking this thing. And you're literally about to soar into another realm. And that's what God's going to do. Because you're not selfish. You aren't even selfish with your baby. Life and death is still in the hands of God. Sometimes we always feel like, if I could have, I could have, I could have did, you couldn't have done anything. But you have to make good with what you have left. Amen. Listen, if you are sewing, I want to, to we, man of God and I want to touch your hand if you have sewed. We want to bless, um, bless your hands as you have sewed. If you sew, make sure you touch our hands. We want to just make sure you did with the minister. The Lord says listen to praise and worship because that's what's going to keep you and sustain you in this midst of this of figuring out what God is doing next step, he said, worship, worship. Are you a singer or anything? He said, just, I see you singing. Just sing, worship, yeah. play worship music, sing. Because he said, the worship is what's gonna keep you. And he says, I'm also gonna start sending somebody by your side. Are you in a relationship? He said, I'm... He says, I'm sending somebody by your side. You're not going to do this alone anymore. He says, be open for, to, to start stepping out there in the love, 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 love. <laughs> so the Lord says, it's time for you to smile, dress up, go out, hang out, date night, all that stuff. The Lord says, it's on you. You need it so you won't stay in that depression. The Lord wants you to smile, have fun. Amen. Amen.